Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity with game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. And disable smooth motion in NVIDIA apps. So launch NVIDIA app on your computer and then you can go to over here. You can see the game. If you see the game, click on settings over here and then select the game over here or you can go to graphics and then you can select the game over here. Now, once you select the game, find smooth motion. If smooth motion is on over here, you can turn it off. Also go to global settings and if you find smooth motion, you can turn off smooth motion and then you can check. You can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So type in NVIDIA app again, open in NVIDIA card users, open NVIDIA app and then you can go to settings and you can launch the game from here. So you can click on play over here, launch the game from here and then check if that does not work. Go to graphics, select the game. And then over here, if you see optimize option, in my case, I don't see optimize, but once you select the game, if you see optimize option, optimize it and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, then if it is already like optimized, then you can revert the optimization over here. And then you can go to settings, turn off this NVIDIA overlay, turn it off and then launch the game. Close NVIDIA app. Try debug mode. Now NVIDIA control, uh, NVIDIA users go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Once NVIDIA control panel is open, uh, you can go to help option at the top and then put a check on debug mode. Once you have a check on debug mode, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, you can go to manage 3D settings, global settings and then click on restore. Click on yes and then at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx12 or dx11 in the launch option steam users you can make a right click on the game select uh, properties and then you can go to the launch option and type in dash dx12 over here and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click once again go to properties this time you can type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this if you have the game on ubisoft connect or epic games launcher uh, for epic games launcher you, user you can go to epic games launcher click on the profile icon and then click on settings and at the end you will see the game you can click on the game and put a check on add command line arguments and type in dash dx12 and then check you can even do one thing you can do do the same thing with the game exe file go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file and then you can go to show more option and then send to desktop shortcut create desktop shortcut and once the shortcut is created, make a right click on the shortcut, go to properties, go to the shortcut and then go to the target option. At the end of, end of quotation, you can give one space and then type in dash DX11. After uh, the quotation, you can type in dash DX11 and then hit apply, click on OK. And then you can make a double click and you can launch the game from here. You can just make a double click. And if that does not work, when you see this prompt, uh, in my case, I have tried DX11 and let me, you can just make a right click properties, type in dash DX12 first. So try dash DX12 first. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX11. Make a double click and when you launch, you will receive a prompt this, click on continue and then you can check. If that does not work, you can stop using the shortcut. You can launch the game from the game, uh, like from the Steam or Ubisoft Connect or Epic Games Launcher. Now the next step is to run Ubisoft Connect installer, install latest version of Ubisoft Connect. Now for this, you can make a right click, manage, browse local files, and then scroll down. Over here, you can see Ubisoft Connect installer. You can make a right click and then you can run as administrator and then click on yes to allow. You will see this, I accept, install, in, in uh, make sure Ubisoft Connect is not running. Make a right click, exit, force quit, and then uh, you can try to run it once again. Make a right click, run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Again, accept, install. Now, if you are able to run this, you can run this, and then you can uh, you can launch Ubisoft Connect, and then check. If that does not work, you can 
if you receive any kind of error while installing uh, this Ubisoft Connect installer, in that case, you can install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect from the Ubisoft Connect website. So you can go to Ubisoft Connect website and then you will see download option. Here you can see download Ubisoft Connect. You can click on it and then you can run the exe file. Make sure you close everything. If you if these are open, you can close it. If you have Ubisoft Connect running over here, close it. And then you can run this exe file and you can install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect and then check. Still not working. Uh, use Ubisoft Connect to launch the game. So you can launch Ubisoft Connect. Uh, or when you launch the game, when you launch the game, uh, you, you will see Ubisoft Connect over here. So you can launch the Ubisoft Connect over here. Once Ubisoft Connect is up and running, you can go to library and uh, here you can see the game. So you can launch the game uh, from Steam and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next, let me close the game for now. Still not working. The next step is to clear Steam download cache. Now for this, you can go to Steam, click on Steam over here, go to settings and go to downloads and over here you can see clear cache option you can click on it confirm it this will restart steam and then you can relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then select manage browse local file go to the game installation folder select the game exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab and if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok and then launch the game next step is to Update Windows to the latest version. So make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to Windows update, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. And right now the latest version is 25H2. So you can update your Windows to version 25H2. Next step is to remove mods. So if you're using mods, stop using mods. And if you have blue folder in the game installation folder, uh, you can uh, create a backup for the blue folder. You can copy and paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, you can delete the blue folder if you're using mods. Next step is to rename this AFOP folder in documents. When you do so, create a backup first because all the saved settings and saved game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So go to documents and documents folder and then open my games folder. Here you can see AFOP folder. Copy this folder. Create a backup once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder make a right click rename it everything will start from scratch rename it now relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so you can go to the game installation folder and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again go to this tab put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security and then go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app browser apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Once it is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on Find. 
on this page you will see the latest geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option and then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once it is done restart your computer after the system restart you can check amd card users go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example i don't have amd graphics so select your graphic card and then select your operating system and whichever is the latest graphic card driver download it install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can relaunch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot disable integrated graphic card make a in the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card in my case the intel is integrated one make a right click and disable device and then you can relaunch the game once you are done playing the game or if you face any issue you can come back and enable the device once again still not working the next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select your graphic card your operating system uh, on nvidia website you can scroll down click on view more versions maybe you can try to install the older graphic card driver and when you go for installation put a check over here perform a clean installation next after that restart your computer and then check similarly amd card users select your graphic card and then click on previous versions and then select your operating system over here and whichever you can install the older graphic card download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 version you have to download both x86 and x64 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once installed yeah you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel click on hardware and sound and then click on power options now over here i have only balanced but if you see power saver option like this uh, you can select power saver and then you can relaunch the game and then check if um, you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver power saver next step is to type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings go to advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then 
three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios now after the bios update launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using like if you have usb flash drive hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay uh, make a right click on the game select manage uh, select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game similarly if you have ubisoft connect in ubisoft connect you can go to ubisoft connect settings and then find overlay option here you can see enable in game overlay for supported game you can uncheck this box and then relaunch the game and then check if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay and then relaunch the game if you have nvidia app you can go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay and close all overlay application do not overclock set it to default close all kinds of overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any overclocking application running close it and then relaunch the game try launching the game on single monitor so if you have multiple monitor setup try to launch the game on primary monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click manage uninstall after the uninstall you can install the game to c drive so if the game was installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game was already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel